Okay. So just we'll start the defects in the solids in today's class and whatever the problems are there. Previously, already we have done some problems, right? So after the completion of this topic, also we'll do the some more problems on the previous topics. Fine. So today's topic is the defect in the solids. So why the solids will have the defects first? If you take the solids, all the particles are regularly arranged in the pattern, right? Either it can be crystalline or the amorphous. And all the particles are very close to each other. But during the preparation of these solids or during the arrangement of these atoms inside the solid, it will cause some defects inside the solids. Okay. Suppose if you take a temperature zero degrees Celsius, all the solids will have the perfect alignment because zero degree Celsius means what? That is the freezing point of the water. So at this temperature, or if you take at zero degrees Kelvin, sorry, zero Kelvin, that is minus 273 degree Celsius. All the solids will have the perfect alignment. So it will form the crystalline structure. Okay, but as we increase the temperature, just wait a minute. So as we increase the temperature, what will happen? Initially, zero Kelvin, all the solids will have the perfect alignment, and there is a regular pattern of arrangement of atoms. But as we increase the temperature, the particle will start moving. That means the thermal energy will be there in the particles. When we increase the temperature, the particle will absorb the energy and it will start moving. So, that what will happen automatically? Entropy of the particle will increase. What is the meaning of entropy, anybody? Anyone, what is the meaning of entropy? What is entropy anyway? Entropy means degree of randomness of the particles. What is entropy? Sorry, degree of randomness of the particles. Okay, that's called as an entropy. The degree of randomness of particles is called as an entropy. As we increase the temperature of the solids, the particles will start moving and the entropy will increase. Due to this, what will happen now? Their physical properties will change. It will affect the physical properties of the solids, such as mechanical stress, Okay, electrical conductivity. Next one is the optical activity. Like this, physical properties of the solids will change. Okay, so all this is happening whenever we are increasing the temperature of the given solids. But at the zero degrees Kelvin, they have the perfect alignment only. But when you are increasing the temperature now, it is causing these effects. So these are the things which will affect the solid so that we will study about the defects in the solids. 
so it can be different defects also is there again the point defect line defect and all so you can say the topic defects in the solids are also we can say like imperfection or the vacancies in the solids imperfection or vacancies present in the solids any doubts up to this priti ramcharan vishwanath any doubts no sir no sir the main thing is what when we increase the temperature the thermal motion will be happen so that entropy of the particle will start entropy will increase entropy is nothing but degree of randomness of the particle okay so due to this physical properties of the solid will change and it will cause the imperfection in the solids now we will classify this complete defects in the solids as a one chart so what are the defects are there we will classify them into the chart so it will be easy for you to understand so defects are two types mainly one is a point defect the next one is a line defect what is the meaning of point defect anyone defect is present at a particular point in the given solid okay defect is present at particular point in the given solid only the particular points will be the defect will be there there is a point defect so it is a minimum defect only if i take regular arrangement of atoms like this if i take the atoms like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this at one particular place this defect will cause so at this place the atom is not there so it is called as a point defect understanding in all other places this is a regular arrangement of atoms are there but at this red circular area there is no atom so this is a point defect at particular point the atom will be missing that is a point defect okay the next one is the line defect what is the meaning of line defect complete row or column of the atom will be missed okay that means if you draw one diagram here like this atoms will be there again next row one more atom will be there but in the second place there is a complete empty space is there right along this so this complete row the atoms are missing that is the line defect or if you take in the column now it is a column defect clear these two statements any doubts priti ramcharan vishwanath no oh, sir so defect are two types one is a point defect the other one is a line defect point defect means which is happened at a particular point in the solid line defect means complete row or the column of the spheres will be measured in the given solid so point defects are again the class fall into three different types one is a stoichiometric stoichiometric defects the next one is a non stoichiometric and the third one is a impurity defect point defects line defects is not there is no again further classification about the line defects but only about the stoichiometric defects non stoichiometric defects and the impurity defect only we have the further more points so in the case of stoichiometric defects it is also called as an intrinsic defect what is the name intrinsic defect the other name for the stoichiometric defect is the intrinsic defect or you can also call it as thermodynamic defect 
these are the three names for the stoichiometric defects we can call the stoichiometry as the intrinsic defect or the thermodynamic defect okay so again the stoichiometry defect is a four different types one is a short key defect the next one is a frontal next one vacancy and the last one is a interstitial defect so again these are the four classifications in the stoichiometric defect short key frontal vacancy and the interstitial defect so again these four will be classified into two types because we know about the ionic compounds and the non ionic compounds right the so short key and the frontal we can see only in the ionic compounds and the vacancy and the interstitial we can see only in the non ionic compounds okay you can say stoichiometric defects are four different types the short key frontal vacancy and the interstitial okay so short key and the frankel possible only in the case of ionic compounds and vacancy and interstitial possible only in the case of non ionic compounds clear up to this any doubts any doubts or clear up to this give me the reply clear sir okay so what are the defects shown in the ionic compounds in the case of stoichiometric short key and frontal short key defect and the frontal defect vacancy defect means what vacancy and interstitial is shown only in the non ionic compounds okay so again the non stoichiometric are the two types one is the metal excess the next one is the metal deficient okay so metal excess defect and the metal deficiency defect these are the two non stoichiometric defects so this is a complete classification of the defects this is a complete chart for the defects first a defects those are also called as an imperfection in the given solids it can be two types one is a point defect the other one is a line defect point defect means defect present at particular point in the given solid line defect means complete row or the column of the atom will be missed the next one is a stoichiometric defect again under the point defects non stoichiometric and the impurity so stoichiometric defects are also called as an intrinsic defects or also thermodynamic defects again stoichiometric is a four different types short key frankel vacancy and the interstitial so short key and the frankel only shown in the ionic compounds vacancy and the interstitial will shown in the non ionic compounds okay non stoichiometric again two types metal excess metal deficiency so any doubts in this chat again we'll study each and everything individually don't worry about that if you have any doubts in this you can ask me i'll tell you okay
Any doubts? Do the reply, Preeti and Ramcharan. No, sir. Ramcharan? Yes, sir. Any doubts? Yes, sir. Okay, first we'll start with the psychometry. So if it is a psychometric defect, what are the four different classifications? Short key and the Frankel, right? In that first we'll study only about the ionic compounds. So defects in the ionic compounds only. Okay, so defects in the ionic compounds are what? The first one is a short key. The next one is a Frankel. Okay. Now I will write the what are the important conditions and what are the consequences also. Because whenever you are studying the defects, you have to remember in the conditions as well as the what are the consequences of the defect. So the first one is the conditions. First one is the radius of cation and the radius of anion should be equal to 1. Should be approximately equal to 1. That means the size of the cation should be equal, approximately equal to the size of the anion. In those type of ionic compounds only, the short key defect is possible. Clear? First point. Size of cation and anion should be approximately equal. That is what the first point about the short key. In the front end, what is the first point now? There should be large difference in these two ratios. So radius of cation by radius of anion. Should not be equal at all. And what is the point? There should be large difference between size of cation and anion. That is the second point, first point. Clear first point? Yes, sir. Second point. It is shown only in the coordination number greater than six. Okay, it can be six or eight. So short key defect is possible only in the higher coordination number. It is possible in higher coordination number only. Higher coordination number, solids only. What about this one then? What is the possibility for this Frankel? It is possible only in the smaller coordination number compounds. Possible only in smaller coordination number compounds. Okay. If you want examples, first we'll write this NaCl and the CSCl. These two will show the short key defect. Here examples are ZNS and the AGI and AGBR. AGBR is very, very important because it will show both the short key as well as the front end. So we'll ask in the exam, which alkyl halide will show both short key and frontal defect? What is the answer?
ATBR is alkyl halide, which will show both short key as well as the Frankel defect. First, I will draw the diagram so that we have a better understanding now about these two. Suppose if you take the NACL crystal. I can just write in it after we got it here itself. Suppose there's an NSL crystal. Inside you have the positive charge and the negative charges. And negative is also there. Like these are the negatives. So negative means what here? Cl minus n is the negative. Positive is what? Na plus is the positive. Clear? Suppose you have taken this NaCl crystal that will show the short key defect, but if you take particular solid NaCl crystal, here plus is missing now. Okay, now to maintain the electrical neutrality, what should be missing next ion? To maintain the electrical neutrality, that means to maintain the number of positive ion equal to number of negative ion. What you have to remove next one? You have to take out the anion, right? So one positive ion is missing, one negative ion is missing. So this type of defect is always in short key defect. So what is the main point in the short key? What are the consequences? Now we'll write the consequences. What's the first one? Number of cations. And anions, number of cations and anions will instill in the defect. Or you can say one cation or one anion will instill the defect, like the defense. One cation and one anion is missing. To maintain electrical neutrality. So always maintains the electrical neutrality. What is the meaning of electrical neutrality? Number of positive ions is equal to number of negative ions. So due to missing of these ions, what is happening? The density is increasing or decreasing? Due to missing of these ions, due to missing of these ions. But density is increasing or decreasing? Density decreases. What will happen? Due to missing of these ions, density will decrease. So due to the missing of these ions only, they will conduct the electricity. Due to this, they will have more electrical conductivity. These are the consequences of the short key defect. Okay. So any doubts in this topic? Short key defect is a complete list. So what are the conditions to show the short key defect first? It is shown only in the ionic compounds in which the radius of cation is approximately is equal to the radius of anion. And it is shown only in the compounds or ionic compounds which has coordination number greater than six. 
Okay, next. It is shown mostly in the NaCl, CaCl, and the AgBr. So AgBr is a compound or the ionic halide which will show defect in both Frankel as well as the short key. Next, we have seen the diagram. This is the diagram. NaCl we have drawn. And what are the consequences of this defect? The number of cation missing should be equal to the number of anion missing. For what? What is the main purpose of this? To maintain the electrical neutrality. So due to missing of the atoms in the given solid, the density will decrease because the mass of the atoms are decreasing, right? Density is equal to mass by value. So density is directly proportional to mass. So density will decrease due to decreasing in the number of atom. So due to this, they will conduct the more electrical conductivity. So these are the main points in the short key defect. Any doubts in this? If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Reply first. Vicky Ramparan. Ramcharan and Vishwanath. No, sir. Shall we go to Frankel then? Okay, sir. So what is the main, main condition for the Frankel? What are the main conditions for the Frankel? The radius of cation should not be equal to the radius of anion. It is possible only in the case of coordination number less than six. Examples are ZNS. AGI and the AGBR. Suppose you should draw the diagram of ZNS. So it looks like this. And you should draw the positive and negative charge now. So this is a negative, we'll add it to green. So this is a negative, right? This is a positive. Now what is happening in the case of ZNS? When you split the ZNS, it will form ZN plus two plus S minus two. So whatever the negative is, it is a S minus two. And whatever the positive is, it is a ZN plus two. Now, this positive instead of going here, it will go and occupy the interstitial site. Interstitial site means whichever the empty space is there between the two different atoms. This is called as an interstitial site. So whatever the dots I have drawn here, all these are the interstitial sites, the empty space present in the solid. Okay. So whatever the dotted portion is, that is the interstitial site. Now, instead of going here, the positive charge, it will go and occupy this side. So this is called the Frankel defect. Okay. So the condition consequences are what? First one, only cation escape and occupies the interstitial sites. Only cations can escape and occupies and occupies interstitial site. Okay. Cations can escape and occupy the interstitial site. 
what is the main reason again electrical neutrality is maintained here third one density remains same fourth one no disturbance in solids no disturbance in solids fifth one low electrical conductivity low electrical conductivity okay so these are the consequences for the frankel defect the rays of cation should be different size than the rays of anion it is possible only in the case of coordination number 6 the most common example for the dilin is and the aga agbr So if we draw the structure of the ZNS, only the cation is going to escape the interstitial site because the cation is a small in size compared to the anion. When you take the neutral atom, compared to the neutral atom, the cationic size will be smaller. Okay, so that only the smaller atoms will go and occupy the interstitial sites. okay so always it maintain the electrical neutrality because the cations are just moving from their original place to the different new place but it does not changing any charge right so it always maintain the electrical neutrality the density of the solid also will not change at all so there is no disturbance in the solids at all and the electrical conductivity is very very low in the case of this solids there in is aga and the agbr okay these are the main things in the frankel defect Any doubts now? Yes, sir. If you have any doubts in this too, you can ask me because these are the most common questions. Compulsory, you get one theory question on this. In the board exam, it is very very important for the three marks. in the objective like competitive exams it is very important because they will give you the release of cation and release of anions and they will ask you to find out which one is will show which defect is the frankel or the short key or they will give you the coordination number and they will ask you to find out whether it has a it will show the frankel defect or the short key defect suppose if the coordination number is 4 which defect is possible frankel frankel is possible okay now in which ionic defect the anion the, the cations will go and occupy the interstitial site frankel sir frankel good so in which ionic defect the number of cations and anion missing is equal short key short key good so what is the ionic halide which will show both frankel as well as short key agbr agbr can you tell me some more examples of the frank short key defect examples examples for the short key defect what are the examples for the short key defect any sir hmm NaCl and yeah CL okay good so these are about the frankel and the short key defect Next, we'll go for the vacancy defect. That is the non-ionic compounds.
Next, in non ionic compounds. There are two defects. One is the vacancy. The next one is the interstitial defect. Now, till now you have studied this one, right? Okay. So non ionic compounds will show two types of defects vacancy defect and the interstitial defect. So, just we studied about the ionic compound defect that is the short key and the Frankel. Exactly the short key defect is equal to the vacancy defect in the non ionic compounds. Vacancy means what? The number of cations and anions missing will be equal. But in the case of that is only in the case of ionic compounds. In the case of non ionic compounds, the number of atoms will be missed equal. That means it will create the vacancies at a particular lattice sites in the given solid. That is caused the vacancy defect. So whenever the atoms are missing in the vac solids, whether the density will increase or decrease. If suppose two atoms are missing from the given solid, from their lattice points. Then the density of the solid will increase or decrease? Increase. Decrease. That means whatever the consequences are there in the short key defect, it is similar to the vacancy defect, right? But the only thing is vacancy defect is shown only in the non ionic compounds. Okay. Vacancy defect is shown in the non ionic compounds. And the short key defect shown in the ionic compounds. That is only the difference between the both. Can you write as same as short key defect? Okay. Same as short key defect in ionic compounds. Atoms will be missing from the lattice sites. Atoms will be missing from the lattice sites. Okay, what about the interstitial? It is same as it is same as. It is same as Frankel. Frankel defect in the ionic compounds. Okay. Okay, any doubts in this? Examples also, you have to take the covalent compounds. Now, any compounds means what? There is a covalent compound for you, okay? So, what are the covalent compounds are there? Which is having the similar atomic sizes, they will show the vacancy defect. And whatever the covalent compounds are there, which will show the difference in the large difference in the atomic sizes, will show the interstitial defects. 
in the case of interstitial defect density will not decrease at all in the case of vacancy defect density will decrease okay so these are the main points again we have the same repetition of the points so the remaining defects will study in the next class up to this if you have any doubts can ask me any doubts up to this no sir Any doubts? No doubts, huh? If no doubts, I will end the class in here. Okay. Ah, okay. Ramchandran, Vishnu. Okay, sir.